Could you please tell us whether there is a difference between soul and consciousness and what kind? Of course there is. These are different things. The soul is an informational structure. It is eternal and indivisible. It transitions from one incarnation to another. It is a parcel of God's consciousness. It is the God himself, because the soul is not a distinct element. It is present within the God. It simply gains a certain amount of independence, but doesn't lose the connection with its foundation. The consciousness is the result of the soul's activity, particularly of that separate parcel that wasn't detached but received a certain autonomy. And it is able to give consciousness a different form each time, a brand new formation from one incarnation to another. It is, so to say, the emanating soul, the soul that manifests itself. When a certain manifestation enters the light of reality, it solidifies. Yes, everything that enters the light takes shape, it assumes visibility. A certain specific structure appears, which we call a subtle body. And it possesses its own particular characteristics, it possesses its own specific program properties. And this is how it forms, layer by layer, layer by layer, and what we get is a matryoshka. And all these are structures of consciousness that are the soul's emanations in their essence. A soul does emanate during its normal development if it is a living soul, a soul that was born, that transitions from incarnation to incarnation, it starts forming itself from the bottom up. Physical body, etheric body, mental body, causal body, etc., etc. There are exceptions, there are certain programs that, as a rule, and in this rule there are also exceptions, come here via the Apollonic channel. Those are specifically created programs. There are very few of them, but this also happens. In their case, consciousness starts forming from the top down. First the bodies of a higher level and then the lower ones. And only after that a certain physical shell is selected that basically takes in this entire construction and then starts interacting with it. But such programs are usually considered to be a one-time use. This means that once the program had fulfilled its task, its physical component got disembodied due to biological reasons and as a result the program either left or got divided into specific components. But in reality this relates to only 0,001% of the cases. Usually it happens from the bottom up. Soul, physical body, the soul starts to evolve, different shells begin to form around it, they freeze when they enter the light, get solidified within different elemental realms, affirm themselves in different elemental realms, get attached to them and only after that the structure of consciousness is formed. Then it starts filling itself with a certain experience, a certain information, certain knowledge and so on. In other words, the soul and the consciousness are not the same, they are connected. It all depends on the task, the goal and the channel chosen to enter this world. This is how it is interdependent.